no NEET or no JE exam, no such competitive exam and you can still study engineering in a top class institute in Japan. Or you can study biosciences in top institutes in Japan, 100% in English. This is the opportunity you have. As an Indian student, you could be from any other country. As an international student, you can study in Japan without such high cut-off and high competition. I am Deepthi Singh, your admissions counsellor for Japanese universities. Today in this video, I am going to tell you a simple pathway for you to study in Japan without having to deal with the immense competition that we see in India and uh, other countries where you know the number of um, higher education institutes are limited or high quality courses are limited so let's explore what is the opportunity that i'm talking about so you need not appear for je you need not appear for a competitive exam like neat and you need not have exceptionally high grades in your 12th or 11th and you can still apply to japanese universities so japanese education system is such that a student is regarded more than just an exam. So when you're applying to a Japanese university, your, you know, your uh, SOP statement of purpose, your mark sheets and your profile matters more than how you perform in an exam. And you can still apply to Japanese universities based on your skills and aptitude and you get multiple chances to really uh, sell in your career and target high paying job. To summarize, engineering doesn't require you to do uh, to exam like JE in most universities. Similarly, to study biotechnology, biosciences, genome studies, food technology, you need not appear for a neat exam and you can still study these subjects in highly ranked institutes. And this is possible because Japan has created special pathway for international students. And why Japan has done it? Because Japan is undergoing a demographic problem. Uh, basically in Japan, there are more population crisis. There are, uh, they are facing a shortage of younger population and they do need international man force to uh, take up the jobs that are going to be created in future. And right now also Japan is short of high skilled manpower and they are looking to hire this manpower especially from countries like India and India being one of the closest partners of Japan it's in a great position to take advantage of this kind of courses can you study in Japan uh, without an entrance test so let's look at uh, kind of courses that are available based on your specialization so let's say you want to study engineering in that case you can study computer science you can study robotics, AI, data science, mechanical, electrical, any of these courses are available entirely in English without you having to appear for an entrance exam. Let's say you are a PCB student, physics, chemistry and biology. In that case, you can study biotechnology, genome studies, you can study search. Instead of MBBS, there are courses which are more inclined towards uh, biology research. You can take up those courses environmental science you know ecology now these are uh, more about animals if you are more interested in animals and plants then you can study uh, subjects related to those these are some of the subjects apart from specialization in chemistry physics and biology that you can study in japan 100 percent in english public health healthcare. if you're a student who would like to pursue nursing or public health specialization right and uh, case also there are courses that are available for you case of business and it there are numerous courses available again without you having to take any entrance exam so you can study business you can study especially finance uh, accounting marketing you can specialize in any of these international business you can do digital marketing based on your interest you can pursue different kinds of courses in Japan. Now there are two pathways to go to Japan, right? So one is to enroll in an English taught degree. So English taught program is basically a 100% English course where you do not need any Japanese language right now to enroll. You can study your entire course being in Japan in English and you will study Japanese maybe uh, as one of the subjects during the course of your degree. 
so you do not need any exam like uh, JEE or NEET or common entrance uh, test like CUET and you can apply directly from India and uh, you can study in English and you will learn Japanese as a part of the curriculum slowly. Second pathway is for students who are keen to master Japanese language. So you can in that case pursue Japanese language in a Japanese language school first master the language to advanced levels and then pursue your degree. You can pursue it in either English or Japanese but there will be an advantage that you will know Japanese uh, once level and that will help you in getting very high level of placements in Japan and also you know the number of courses then you can target are going to be many many more than what you can target with only English taught pathway. So these are the two major pathways that you can take. So one is to study Japanese in Japan, experience the culture, live there, really immerse yourself in language for one year and then take up a course in a Japanese university and this will ensure the best job placements for you. I want to you know tell you that there are top companies in the world that are located in Japan Sony, Nissan, Hitachi, Panasonic you know there are so many Fujifilm and these companies are world leaders in technology and they are world leaders in R&D and research and which is why it's a great opportunity for you to start considering studying in Japan first and then taking up a job in Japan. Your starting salary in Japan can be anything between 18 lakh rupees to about 30 lakh rupees per annum. And if you know advanced level of Japanese, you can think of much higher packages. I want to tell you about one of our students who went to Japan in 2021 and after pursuing mechanical engineering from Japan and appearing for N2 level of Japanese language, now he is earning a package of 35 lakh rupees per annum after graduation. So this is the kind of career that you can envision for yourself and if you need any support please uh, do write to us in comments and if you want any other support in understanding what is the best way for you please get in touch with us. Instead of repeating your exams again and again also feeling stuck in competition my suggestion would be to look at other alternative careers as well and explore other opportunities that can be available to you with a very high return on your investment of your time and money. So this is uh, one food for all of you students. Uh, thank you for watching the video and uh, thank you for sending so much love to our channel. We are about to be 20,000 subscribers and I really thank each one of you for watching our videos and supporting us. Thanks.